dumb grabs my neck. He goes to knee. The first knee is going to be a block. So I push it forward. Okay. He knees. Push it into him. Now don't push it down because if I do, expose my face. I'm going to go over the top. So I push it in. I put immediately go. I head up and I push it forward. Good. Now when I do that, I block and this hand hits at the same time so I can block catch. Okay. And as soon as I catch it, I get to his hip. Now all I have to do is head up and hip in, which will give me a foot trip. Pinch his knee. Just pinch it. Now the pinch means I'm going to get his leg. Not only that, this is going to give me my punches to his face. Okay. The first is just a standing heel hook, great for the street. Hold his knee, step over, and go straight to his heel. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is so he doesn't roll. Roll. See he's roll. Roll. Okay. So if I'm here and I step over his leg, and he goes to roll. He can't roll anywhere. This will break his his heel. This will break the knee or the, the ankle. It's the first one. Okay. He's here. You just figure four and crumple this into his groin. Okay. Just like you're trying to break it. Stick over your leg. Here, here, and slam it, and that will break it. Okay. What's going to happen is when you start to do this, he will counter by straightening his leg. Hook his head. Keep this tight. Put your hook right here. <coughs> Go straight to his heel. Or place it here. The reason the foot is here, so I can leave arm. All the way over here, if I even land it, see, see the power. Okay, one more time. So he grabs. He needs crack, crack, pinch, standing, break. Number two, grab it, kneel and crunch. You're gonna slam it. That's gonna break it. You're gonna try to break the shin. Straightens it out. Hook his head. Keep it tight, sit, put your hook here. Two hands on his heel, twist and arch, or place it under your armpit. Keep your knees as tight as you can and hip and arch. One more time. So he gets my head, oh. hit, step, break, break, hold, sit, and heel hook. Or heel. Alright, let's try it. Give yourself to uh, Chris Brown, five time Olympic wrestler for Australia. He's one of your elite top wrestlers. I had the pleasure to uh, go to Brazil and watch him compete in the uh, Abu Dhabi Championships. Only guy out there competing with a cut head and bleeding all over the place. <laughs> because he was the most aggressive guy on the mat. Did you get the best throw for that? Best so because he was launching guys. So it was just a pleasure to watch him. And if you guys haven't met him, his name is Chris Brown. Still single, ladies. Still single. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chris Brown, guys. So just uh, at, at like a very, very high level of wrestling, uh, you can compete to a point to age where guys are cutting it off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Chris just turned 40 a little while ago and uh, he just decided to take up a professional career in NHB, which goes to show that there's there's still a lot of hope for guys that guys get older and they go, oh, I can't fight, you know what, you're wrong. All you have to do is condition right and you can compete. Prime example, Randy Couture, top of the game, number one in the UFC. He's, he's in his 40s now, and he's still beating all the end guys, so yeah. there's still hope. But at 40, uh, Chris just decided that, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to go into NHB. So it's cool. But anyways, uh, he's got some fights and stuff coming up, so kind of keep an eye on him. He's going to be fighting, hopefully in Pride, right? Yeah. Maybe Pride or, or in Japan. So, And there's other guys in here, too, that are fighting and stuff. And, uh, it's just uh, good to have you guys here. So thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken wing or Kimura or Udi Gorami or whatever you want to call it. But what you're going to do is he's always going to rest. The clothes guard rests his hands here. 
to start. So the first thing I'm always going to do is get my hands inside, always pull them inside and get underneath to get his hands down. Now this is easy to grab his wrists. When I grab his wrist, I open, I'm here, I open my feet. I punch all the way up to your four, put my chest on his wrist. I'm on my left butt cheek, now I rotate out to my right butt cheek and my leg has to come up behind his back. The key on the lock is not that it lifts high, but that the elbow goes as up high as it can, and then move. Okay? If he straightens his arm, see, it's not going to go. So I have to bring it up, and then bring it on. The key is that I want to put his face on the ground, just like this. Then I put it on. Okay, come back up. So I'm here, my hands come here, come underneath, feet hit the floor, sit up quick, chest to his wrist, sit back out on my opposite, Bounce his face off the floor, lift his elbow up, and then twist it behind his back. Okay. Uh, a lot of people go palm, they, they go thumbless grip. I prefer the thumb grip because I like to twist it. So when I get it, I'd like to twist this as much as I can to rotate his shoulder. You could still get the lock here, okay? but if you look, it goes on a little bit quicker. Look at this. Okay. Now look at this and I haven't even put it on yet. So that's why I like the thumb round grip twist. Okay. Sorry. I'm here, open it up immediately, sit up, slide up, and then switch, bring it up here, bring your knees up to get them to pose. Okay. Make sure his head doesn't come down. Okay. His head's up, sit, and slide up. All right, let's try it. Okay, now, guys, that's not the only entry, but we're going to start from here, getting his arms up. Okay, entry number two is just grab his wrist. As soon as I grab his wrist, my knee hits my chest, and then I come up to get it. Okay, so I just come to here, grab his wrist, my knee is going to punch my chest, then I go up. Punch your chest with your knee to bring him forward. It's got to be, uh, it's got to come behind the shoulder, not the tricep, because sometimes when he's posting, this will hurt him because his elbow will be locked in. No good. So I use the shoulder. And to, to help you out a little bit, you can even pull his elbow too to get it. Hit it, pull the elbow too, and get it. Okay. Now another thing you can do here, you're going to go, instead of coming in here, sometimes he's not posting, but he's up here. So I sit up and I reach my hand underneath his armpit, grab and rip his head down. Okay. Some people will try to slide out and do this, but it won't work. So just hold it tight and then switch. Okay. So you take it under here, you rip it. Switch your hands and bring it. Rip it. Rip it. Number one. Number two. Number three. If this leg is open, he rolls. Okay? Watch what I do. Slide back. I'll walk him here, or I'll walk around his head, or pick him up. Three ways to lock it. One is here, two is here, three, and then open side. Got it? Real All right, let's try it. 